When we come back, the Canada Revenue Agency announced yesterday that some 900 Canadians were victims of information theft from the Canada Revenue Agency through the Heartbleed Bug. We're going to speak with an expert to talk all about what you need to do to protect yourself and just how bad this is. You're watching Morning News on Global Montreal. Welcome back, Montreal. We are happy to be joined in studio again by Digital Locksmiths uh, owner Terry Cutler. Thanks so much for being here Thanks with us. Me. Uh, you know, we're hearing all about Heartbleed, this bug. It seems like it's only getting worse. Right. What we do know is that it infiltrated Canada Revenue Agency and information was stolen. They say from 900 people. What information was stolen? They're, they're seeing anything from uh, social insurance numbers and, and possibly tax files, but mostly social insurance numbers. Um, and I applaud them because there's no disclosure law in Canada. So by them coming out saying, listen, we got breached, um, hopefully uh, allows other companies to come in and also admit that maybe they got breached as well so consumers don't have to go scrambling at the last second for a surprise. Mm -hmm. But if Heartlead has been around for two years, how do we know that they haven't infiltrated the CRA in the past or right. uh, you know, other big companies that people do business with like Amazon and eBay and right. Facebook? And, and we don't know, in fact. So, it, so what's interesting is that this bug's been around for two years, but Nobody knew about it until recently, apparently. But now the NSA came out and said, "Yeah, we knew it all along. And we've been we've been using it to to get our intel." What? Yeah. So, how concerned should we be? As consumers, there's not too much you can do, right? The only thing you can do is uh, is obviously change your password. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're in a catch-22 because if you change your passwords too early, the the hackers can still get access to your newest password. Okay. So it's kind of like yes, go out right now, change your passwords. Uh, try to make them between 16 and 25 characters. 16 and 25 characters? Yeah. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? Especially because you've got your, pa your password for Facebook, for Gmail, yeah. uh, for your work login. How do you remember it? All right. So most people have between 20 and 50 passwords to remember all the time. Right. So the best advice I can give is think of song lyrics or a phrase that you've heard of. Oh, that's smart. So there you go. You've filled up 20 characters. Yeah. And just supplement maybe an O for a zero and the A for an at symbol. And okay. there you have your strong password. So uh, let's let's give an example. So if here. I had a password of I I had a great day today, 2014 exclamation point. I that, had a great day today, and every O you replace with a zero. That's it. That's I like a strong that. password. How are people watching right now supposed to know if they are among the 900 people who are impacted by this? All right. So most likely they're only going to be noti notified by courier mail. Okay. Right. So the biggest thing right now is the hackers are coming after you <coughs> via email phishing attacks. So it says, it sends you an email saying, please update your personal information right away. Do not click that link because that's fraud. Okay, so if you are impacted, you are not going to get a phone call from the CRA. You are not going to get an email from the CRA. The only way it's going to be done is through registered letter mail. From what I understand, yeah. Do you think that there are people who might take advantage of this and Absolutely. try to scam oh, yeah. others? Oh yeah, that's happening right now. Because there's a window, there's a window right now where the, the companies have to scramble to get their software up to date as quickly as possible. So nope, everybody knows that you can't just update hundreds and thousands of servers in one shot like overnight. Mm -hmm. You have to test it first because sometimes when you apply these updates, it breaks other things. So the, the hackers are racing against time right now to steal as much as they can. Do you think that with um, the uncovering of this Heartbleed bug, it could change the future of the Internet as we know it? Absolutely, because now what's happening is they're finding this inside the hardware components of the computer, so they're the physical components of the computers. Right. So it's, it's expanding into, the, into that realm as well now. So how might it change? Might people in general just use the Internet less, or do you think that the software is going to become more sophisticated to protect against things it, like hurt. It'll, it'll actually give us a boost to help get more advanced uh, with, with, with detecting these threats. But as consumers, it becomes problematic because they're at the point where they don't really trust what they're doing online anymore. So all they see is a, is a lock when they're browsing, right? Yeah. They think they're secure, but in fact they're not. Yeah. For me, personally, it makes me think, and I'm wondering if, if viewers think this too, you know, I, I really don't think I should do online banking anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have a Facebook account. Maybe I should shy away from everything because I'll never know if I'm safe. Right. So the, big, the biggest thing right now is that, um, you know, the banks at least are on your side. If there's a problem, they'll, they'll step in and, and reimburse you or whatever. So you're kind of covered if, if catastrophe happens. Kind right. Of. Do you think it could be more than 900 people? It could be. It could be. I mean, uh, a lot of other companies could be affected, uh, affected as well. I mean, but you're not going to know because they might not even disclose it. Yeah. 
and uh, of course there's the whole um, uh, of course change your password also look at your credit history yeah. try and get a report from Equifax or TransUnion this report is really valuable because it shows you every maybe credit card you own every account you have open and I'll tell you a fast story of how uh, so this affected me a couple of years ago I used to go to hockey games and whenever I used to get a credit card from NBNA, I used to get the hockey players on it. So every time I go past the booth, yeah, I want one. Yeah, I want one. I want one. And next yeah. thing I'm applying for seven credit cards because it has all different hockey characters on it. Oh. But those actually have open accounts on your on your against your credit. Okay. So when I went to go buy a, a car at one point, they're saying, no, no, you you have too much credit. I'm like, what do you mean? So I ordered this report, and next thing I have like 11 credit cards. Yeah. And I'm like, oops, that's a problem. So you got to close this all this off. So close credit cards that you're not using. Exactly, because you're responsible for them. So if these hackers got access to your identity you're responsible for all those credit cards you own. Mm -hmm. So that report is very valuable. So start closing all that out. Do a cleanup. Very helpful. Terry Cutler of Digital Locksmiths, we appreciate that. Thank you for having me. We've got lots more coming up, Montreal. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.